All right, I'm going to move us along. Uh, we have uh, one announcement. Last week, we received an update report from Dr. Heather Zierhut, who is the president of the National Society of Genetic Counselors. The report is a catalog of announcements and activities, including a recent release of online courses offered by NSGC. If you follow the work and activities of that society, I recommend this report to you. It is in the electronic council book under the open session items. Uh, the last task is to recite the conflict of interest um, language. This refers to the applications that you will be reviewing in closed session tomorrow. You must leave the meeting room when applications submitted by your own organization are being individually discussed. In the case of state, higher education, or other systems with multiple campuses that are geographically separated, own organization is intended to mean the entire <coughs> system, except when a determination has been made that the components are separate organizations for the purpose of determining conflict of interest. You should avoid situations that would give rise to charges of conflict of interest, whether real or apparent. For example, you should not participate in the deliberations and actions on any application from or involving your spouse, child, recent student, recent teacher, professional collaborator with whom you are working closely, a close personal friend, or a scientist with whom you have had longstanding scientific or personal differences. The NHGRI staff will determine the appropriate actions for you based on recency, frequency, and the strength of such, so, such associations or interests, either positive or negative, and we will instruct you accordingly. In council actions in which you vote on a block of applications without discussing any individual one, for example, the on block vote, your action will, your vote rather, will not apply to any application from any institution fulfilling the criteria noted above. Uh, please sign the conflict of interest and disposal of confidential materials form that Comfort Brown has sent to you and return it to Comfort with your signature by email. So before we uh, go to closure here, we have one more activity, and that is it's time to say goodbye to some weary council members who have served their four-year sentence on council. In fact, these lovely people even agreed to extend their service by an additional six months to help us deal with the problem of new council members not being onboarded in a timely fashion due to problems in the secretary's office. God bless you for that. And thank you for your patience and forbearance, helping us to transition so successfully to virtual council meetings over the past two years. So here are our departing members. Steve Fodor, technology development has been a mainstay of NHGRI's mission since our inception in the early 1990s. There's no greater champion of tech dev than Steve who quietly and politely continues to remind us that faster, cheaper, and better quality will always be essential goals in genomic research. And as we like to remind our sister institutes, genomic technologies help to advance research across all domains of biomedical research at NIH. So thank you, Steve. Rafael Irizarry. Rafael has been a steady voice on council to remind us of the importance of building and expanding our portfolio of R01 investigators, which we have done in all domains of genomic research and you saw earlier today in the budget report. Rafael has also been an advocate for training opportunities in computational biology and data science, and has encouraged us to create opportunities for investigators from diverse backgrounds. Thank you, Rafa. Wendy Chung. We recruited Wendy to, to council to advise us on all things related to genomic medicine research, which she has done with distinction. But as, but as often happens at council, we ask much more of her. Wendy accepted an important leadership role for the better part of a year to help us evaluate our training program. She then helped to develop recommendations about how the program should be expanded. We also leaned heavily on Wendy to help us design funding programs for research and educational opportunities for genetic counselors. Thank you, Wendy, we will miss you. And Pat DeVerka, 
We asked Pat to join council to help us with outcomes research and evaluations of our clinical trial projects. Pat also helped with many aspects of our genomic medicine research projects, the expansion of our training program and LC research programs as well. Thank you, Pat. So we have some fairly disappointing frame government certificates for you, but we also will send you a handsome Lucite cue, which Eric is showing. Actually, actually, let me tell them about this. First of okay. all, it is not Lucite. I mean, oh, this is real it? glass. Don't you think for a second it's you know <laughs> Lucite. So as is tradition, we have this beautiful obelisk, which will have your name engraved on it. In the, you probably can't quite see, but it's a double helix etched with inside of it. And you even, I mean, it's, it's been horrible that we've had to do all these council meetings virtually and that I can't physically hand this to you in person. On the other hand, I have heard from other council members who have to travel by air when they take this with them. This is an incredibly sharp point. Apparently TSA occasionally objects to the sharpness of this because you could hurt somebody with it. So look for it in your FedEx. You don't have to get it through TSA. And I would just like to personally say, a huge thanks on behalf of NHGRI for the four of you who are outgoing uh, council members. I will miss you dearly. I know we're going to spend tomorrow together one last time in closed session, but I will miss the four of you dearly in future council meetings. But um, we, we, we will keep your email. I know where all of you live, and I hope to continue to see you all often. So thank you very much. And welcome back to the wonderful world of peer review. We look forward to working with oh, you yeah. and here as well. Okay, Eric, any final comments from you? If no not, final comments. Rudy, great job. You really kept us on track. You said we'd be done by 4.30 and you are been giving us an extra 14 minutes. So all is good. Why don't you give us March the next set of marching orders? Right, so we're done for the day. You can hang up. Tomorrow's call starts at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern time and it's obviously a new meeting, but you should have the calendar invites. And it's all closed session tomorrow just to Correct. do the work of the council. All right, thank you. Everybody all. have a nice evening and we will thank see you. you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye.